my group we study human respiratory syncytial virus. Now this is a very important human pathogen. So it's uh, very well known to affect small kids. It can, get, uh, can give rise to complicated disease in those children, especially when it replicates in the lower respiratory tract. Now the problem is that it's, um, it's, this virus occurs worldwide and uh, it's seasonal, so it comes back in winter season in the moderate climate zones and it gives rise to a huge burden. So it's estimated that up to 200,000 small children die each year from this infection by this virus and also over um, 3 million hospitalizations occur as well in, in, uh, all over the world and that's every year, every season. In my group we have studied the protein of the virus that is uh, short, small, neglected by our immune system and to be honest also neglected by, by, the, uh, by the peers in the field so people didn't consider it as, as an important or relevant target so we did and uh, we showed in uh, animal models and uh, so mice, cotton rats and now also in, in humans we have a phase one trial going on um, the potential of this vaccine uh, and what we saw is that if we induce an immune response against that antigen which doesn't happen in nature, so that, that's different from a natural immunity. Um, we saw that if we then challenged the animals um, with, with the virus, there was a, a huge reduction in viral application. This protein is um, important for the virus. I mean, if you take it away, the virus is attenuated in vivo at least, so it, it does need the protein. It has a, an impact on our innate immune system, probably uh, controls responses uh, during an infection. So the virus needs it, needs it, and it and it's used at least in part to play, to to uh, modulate our, our immune response, the mammalian immune response. Now the funny thing is that is uh, if you look at infected uh, animals or, or in humans who have been exposed to RSV, as as we all are, um, um, we don't see any uh, meaningful immune response against that target. So. Our idea was also that if we mimic an immune response, or if, sorry, if we induce an immune response that the virus hasn't learned to evolve with, well, has never, or has high actually, perhaps has, has learned to, to hide away from the immune system, we might um, tackle the virus in an unusual way.